Heavenly Father, may your Holy Spirit lead us, may he guide us, point us in the direction of all truth. We thank you for your word, the Bible. We thank you for Jesus' blood shed on the cross. Be with those that listen today. Uh, may you bless them. May you teach them. May you guide them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Continuing in Genesis 41, uh, I love the story of Joseph. Just love all the pictures of Jesus uh, that we get, but it's just a fun story for uh, adults and kids alike. Uh, Genesis 41, verse 42, And Pharaoh took off his ring from his hand and put it on Joseph's hand and arrayed him in vestures of fine linen and put a gold chain about his neck. Joseph is such a great picture, a shadow of what uh, was to come in uh, the Messiah. He's a type, uh, you know, in that sense of Jesus. He shows us so many pictures of Jesus. Um, Philippians 2, verse 10 says that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth. We're going to see that uh, Joseph, in this sense, is a type of Christ that people are going to come and uh, bow before him uh, because he's a ruler. Uh, one day Jesus is going to rule and reign on the earth for a thousand years. Uh, he is in heaven. Uh, he is uh, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Uh, everyone will one day either be uh, judged by him or they will have him as their savior. Um, and uh, either way, every knee will bow to Jesus one day. Verse 43. And he made him to ride in the second chariot which he had, and they cried before him, Bow the knee. And he made him ruler over all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh said unto Joseph, I am Pharaoh. And without thee shall no man lift up his hand or foot in all the land of Egypt. And Pharaoh called Joseph's name zaphnath paneah and gave him to wife Asenath, the daughter of Potiphera, priest of On. And Joseph went out over all the land of Egypt. So he married uh, Asenath. And here's another uh, picture, a shadow of what is to come in Jesus. Jesus would be rejected by his brethren, much as Joseph was rejected by his brothers. And Jesus, uh, he was rejected by the Jews. And Jesus would take a Gentile bride. The church is known as the bride of Christ. Uh, now, it doesn't mean that there aren't some Jews that accepted Jesus. Uh, most of the, the original church uh, was Jewish believers. Uh, but as a whole, over time, the Jews have rejected their Messiah. But the original church was uh, Jewish believers, and they met in homes. Uh, that was the church, according to the Bible. Uh, types and shadows in the Old Testament will take us, though, only so far. It says Joseph was second in command. Uh, is Jesus second in command? Well, <clears throat> Many people think of it like this, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, like God the Father is higher than God the Son and higher than God the Holy Spirit. Well, you need to think of it as going across God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, uh, that they're equal uh, because these three are one God and they're equal, three distinct persons, uh, three uh, of God, but none uh, higher than the other. All are God in that sense. Psalm 138 verse 2 says, I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name with loving kindness and for thy truth. And thou hast magnified thy word above thy name. Now who's thy word? In John, if you read John, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. In John 1 14, uh, the word is Jesus. Acts 4.12 says, Neither is salvation in any other name, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. The name of Jesus is the only name uh, people can be saved by. 1 John 5.7 uh, says, For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And again, the Word is Jesus. Jesus is the Word of God. And these three are one. John 1 verse 3 says, all things were made by him. Again, one of the reasons I stick with the King James, look at your version. Does yours say all things were made by him or does it say through him? All things were made by him and without him was not anything made that was made. It points to the fact that Jesus is God. There's one way to heaven. Jesus saith unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. It's only by calling on the name of Jesus.